we burnt the tree down. Look, <gasps> the tree is still on fire over there. We burned it down. There were innocent people still in that tree. Are we the bad guys? Are we the <laughs> oh, most definitely, yeah. Why is Kale's team here? Once we kill all three hags, she'll get all her powers back. Some travelers on the road. Where's your next location? Uh, we'll have to scab who we were told to perform for uh, uh, uh. Greg? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah? Oh, so this is where you left us for, is it? <laughs> oh, God. Oh god! You remember the community yeah. acting group? How long oh. was he in the trip for? <laughs> Not that like, long. Like, like a couple of three weeks or something. But they were in the middle of like rehearsing a play, and then he left. <laughs> and he was like the main <laughs> character. And he turned around and I, just, I said, "I don't need this today." <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is where it's more important to be in the forest, I suppose, than. Hey, you know, I got other shit going on. <laughs> you know, we had to cancel that play. And for our, that, I'm sorry. Our group, dis <laughs> our group disbanded. We had to put a uh, new crew, crew, crew together. Not all of them seem to recognize you. That's you actually did, how did it name. How did it go? Well, it didn't go well yeah, at all. We canceled it. Canceled Craig. That's why we took <laughs> we up a new name. We had to cancel the show. How'd it go? <laughs> I, did, I, did. I missed that key part of information. <laughs> I see. Well, we have a new, a new show and a new troupe. So uh, we're, wow. we're, we're, I wish you luck with we're actually performing with uh, the Bard himself and the, one, the rear of the two uh, cats. It suddenly shifts its uh, suspension as getting out is a very large green screened troll uh, carrying a very large spear. Ah, oh, Shakespeare. And he gets it out and then starts shaking it in your direction. Oh, Shakespeare! <laughs> ah! Oh, Billy shook a stick. <laughs> hey, Billy. A, we're performing uh, his, his most famous romantic tragedy, Romeo and Maglubiet. Oh. Uh, and we're, we're performing it on a tour around uh, Ewelin. We've been invited by the Hourglass Coven them, uh, themselves, so... You know that they're evil though, right? Well, they're paying. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Why would you work for them? Why would you go and perform for them? Are you, are you evil as well? Darling, have you heard the expression, a pot calling the kettle black? You raise a good point. Do you need bodyguards? We could be your bodyguards! Well, you probably would make good bodyguards for all the things you've killed. Um, protection would be suitable. All right. Yeah. And maybe, may, maybe you could. <laughs> do you need we, another actor? We can, we can do the protection and. I'll start, Despite I'll, the name, I'll I'll act we're not again. one man. Shy. I'm walking. I'm one more. One more. I'm down for one. I'm down for one more ride. It's my last day before retirement. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Are you asking me to return? <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay. This is, Despite the name One Man Shy, we are actually a full compliment. Well, you should change that name. Looks like my acting talents needed one more time to save this world. I accept. No, darling, I think you misunderstand. We're all set, actually. No, no, if you're One Man Shy, then I, Greg the Garlic Farmer, will take the lead role. I see what's happened. You, you, the, the, one, the name One Man Shy is just the name of the group. Excuse we're, me, we're, excuse we're, me. I'm Greg's manager. Uh, I'm going to step in here right now. First things first, I take a 55% booking fee on top of his fee. That's no, non-negotiable. No, 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 not finished yet. Uh, that's not even including GST. When we get to location, we will be uh, discussing the lighting. There is a very fine uh, line of blue light that he will not have in any of his performances. When we get to yeah, his darling, caravan... We, we have a full troop. We're, we're I'll do it! I'll do it! Uh, excuse me, this is non-negotiable. It's done! Greg, you, you need, need to help. Stop, you need to stop coming up with plans and just actioning them. <laughs> Straight so, up. so you, it, it is either him. They've got the, Shakespeare. They've got Shakespeare. They don't need they've me. They've got like one of the best uh, playwrights of all time. Yeah. They don't need me. The York Shakespeare. Yeah. You need them, Greg. No. You need them. I don't need anybody. <laughs> Greg, I, I need to go back to Honeywood I, I, and I need to I, just I, give I, out I just, quests. I just hug you. I just hold you. I hold you. I hold you. I hold you. I hold you. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing here, Greg? What the I just killed people. I just burned a tree down. I don't Greg. even know who was inside it. Greg, Greg. I don't know. I think you, I don't I know. Think you might need acting right now. <laughs> You've been away for a you got a, lot of, you got a lot of pent up shit you need to get out. I Maybe it'd be nice to be somebody else for a change. He'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> Maybe you should speak to his horror. And then I just finally no. release says, you. Kenneth. And Kenneth goes, oh, not. He goes, I'm sorry. It, it just, just for the next performance, you understand. Fine, I'll work on costume. And uh, another one goes, like hell oh, you will. It's my job. You guys, you guys will take me back? <laughs> yes, I suppose. Even after what he said before? 
Yes. <laughs> Look at this performance. You're stop his own <laughs> advertising. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I suppose if we're not performing here tonight, we can make a good headway on the trip to yeah. Yon. Right. Oh. Upwards. All aboard. Uh, oh, before we go, uh, as his agent, what is the, <laughs> what is the rate? of his pay for his performance shows. What? Well, uh, we... And also, I guess, for protection. Like, what's, what's the... That I will come second, but we, first we, we want to ride, though. Uh, uh, okay. He turns <laughs> to speak... He's about to, he's about to bargain <laughs> his way out of this. <laughs> he to bargain his way he out turns, of this. He tends right. to speak to the guy who just said, like hell you will, and he says, Ian, uh, uh, let's talk treasury. And he... <laughs> <laughs> we can afford 20 gold each for the protection, mm -hmm. and your share of the box office, plus 10 gold. I, I mean, except I will be taking the ten gold as uh, your agent, <laughs> as your manager. I don't know how to. Very Greg well. doesn't know how to negotiate, so he's just going <laughs> to take that, take that at face okay. value. And so we don't know what the box office is yet. No, okay. they will. They will give uh, each of you the gold up front. Uh, actually, no, they won't, because they're not stupid. <laughs> yeah. They'll give. Thanks. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> They'll give each of you ten gold uh, up front, uh, oh, as great. well as your payment will come after the after the box office is in. Add so it to exact. the pile. How much gold, sir? Ten. Uh, for you, he gives ten gold for the, the protection sense. value, and then your Let's acting it. payment will come. Let's go rich. Let's get on the road. <laughs> for now. I've got, got hundred and thirty-six what? gold what? now. Huh? You got thirty-six. One hundred and thirty-six. Oh wow! After the casino, all on black. Hundred plus ten platinum. Alrighty. Oh, on. So yeah. again, then. over the journey. Over the journey, it's going to take several days. Um, these guys know the way because they've been invited. So part of the magic of the mists is that if you have an invite, you can Sorry, you can find your way. Uh, you meet you meet all twelve of the cast. I'm not going to go through each of them, but they are all fleshed out in case you wanted to delve into their backstories. <laughs> One at a time. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, deal. We will be your bodyguards in return for money and the ability to kill Enderlin. Yeah. yeah. Right. Great. Great. Uh, just one, one thing before we depart. There are a lot of you. Uh, can we know your names, please, and your date of births, mm. please, mm. and your addresses, and yes. just specific, detailed backstory. What are your favorite fears, favorite foods, etc., colors, I favorite too. bands? I'm interested. Yeah. In We're just oh. general detail on each and every yeah, one yeah. of you. Yeah. Before we set off, let's get yeah. everyone's yeah. detail. Very I'm thorough and specific. Well, it's funny you should ask. I had a feeling you might. So let's go. Yeah. So I'm Lawrence, that is Megan, Trevor, Daniel, Quentin, Elizabeth, Petunia, Roberto, Lawrence again, Ke Kenneth, Patrick, and Ian. And then, who's the leader? And then Billy. The Lawrence O. Oh. Lawrence oh, and, O is and who's, the... who's the one that he's replacing? Hmm? Who's he replacing? He's replace, replacing Kenneth. Huh. Kenneth. And then of course Shakespeare. Is Shakespeare. I'm assuming Shakespeare's not playing with them. He's, no, he's, he's just the playwright. He's just the right. I'm, I'm assuming right. Kenneth is kind of the weak link. Of the, he's kind of he's the one that always likes to I've show got, down I've got bit, for yeah. Kenneth that he's super smart, a great writer, not a great actor, yeah. kind of an overthinker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he got replaced. As, uh, so as, get, oh, as an overthinker, he's going to stew on. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Kenneth. That is going to be the bad guy. Yeah, and and you're all squished into the the front cart because oh, yeah. the second of the two carts is for oh, Billy, man. who's a massive troll. So we're in the back of, of the, sorry, the back of, of the a cart. Uh, yeah, like yeah. One yeah. One I, one I, I just lean over the kettle steam. I go, kettle steam, can you like cast a spell on Kenneth just to make him feel a bit better? <laughs> yeah, I can try for an hour. <laughs> for an about, hour. Yeah, about about uh, an hour later, by the way, Bodger. <laughs> after after about half an hour of uh, of journeying with these people. Um, <laughs> you realize that you were manipulated by magic. Uh, so I'm like, anyway, kettle steam. I want. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what don't, happened? Please don't get violent. I don't what, want to hurt Why you. is she still? I thought we were. Shh. 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 You, you guys are good friends now. By I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. You, you said she, lovely. She cast a spell on me. Shh. Shh. And, you, oh. and you said some lovely like things about her. Noise. Cha -ching. For a while there, everything was good. <laughs> uh, okay. Remember all the. Surely you yeah, remember. Yeah, I remember the saying the things. Uh, <laughs> didn't it feel nice? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, right that way. Keep it's nice to be in love, isn't it? Yeah. I, mean, I wasn't in love. I wasn't in love. <laughs> wow. Well, I was like, I was like, no, she's alright. <laughs> so, um, so you set off with these, uh, with with this troop, um, and as you're climbing on board, mommy, coming out of the forest, catching up to you finally was catching up. 
Catch, catching up as you were as you were getting oh, like, as as you stopped. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. Go, 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 She's coming <laughs> in America. Iron Black, Man. Black Widow. <laughs> All right, so it's going to take a three-day journey. Uh, anything in, you want to do on that journey? We should be way ahead of Yeah, in, in yeah, that time, I things. have so many uninvestigated <laughs> items yeah. in I was my wondering inventory. when you finally get around to them. Holy hell. Well, I've got things from, like, uh, from, from, like from Bavlorna. <laughs> oh, not quite from the Hill Giant, but I've got so many uninvestigated un things. Um... Shall I just reel them off while we go one by one? What do you want to look I've at? I've got a, a white powder in a bottle. All right, so with the white powder in a, it's in a small ceramic jar, kind of like a modern pestle, but with a lid, kind yep. of like a sugar pot. Yep. Um, I think I got this from Bevlona. Uh, you will, <coughs> excuse me, you will uh, identify it as definitely magical powder. Um, you have access to the spell Identify, so if you want to do so, you can cast it as a ritual and it doesn't cost you anything. So during the day, while he's like, hey Greg, what's this? Yeah, right. You can be identifying it we as well. Really been oh, Greg, what's this? Yep, yep, I'm I'll not only tell you. Instead of asking this f***ing <laughs> idiot, we should have been using that. What's this, Greg? Uh, that is, you, you have nothing in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> <What's this? laughs> okay, sorry, uh, here's a white powder in the bottle. What's this? <laughs> that is cocaine. That is cocaine. You have cocaine? <laughs> uh, he identifies it as dust of disappearance. Um, mm. Can I get you to make an arcana check, please, Bergen? Uh, oh, 21. 21. Sure. Um, you recognize it as dust of disappearance, and in that moment uh, when he says this, it is a dust that you can throw up in the air, and you and everything within 10 feet of you becomes invisible, objects and creatures and everything. Uh, so it's a way of like casting invisibility on your entire party in a pinch, mm. getting out of there. And um, how long does it last? Uh, it lasts for a minute, I want to say. But... As he hands it back to you and he tells you dust of disappearance, uh, some vague recollection of your arcane studies, boring lessons at the un at the uh, temple, you're reminded in a moment with your <laughs> very well a uh, good suc uh, successful check there that dust of disappear uh, there is another type of dust that is magically enchanted to even with identify look like dust of disappearance, and you take out a little pinch and. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you test it, It'll and immediately, <laughs> you, uh, your suspicions are confirmed. This is in fact dust of sneezing and choking. Okay. Uh, you shouldn't have so, if it instead out. you throw this over yourself, thinking it's dust of disappearance, er you and everyone in the area instead is uh, is considered suffocating as you are coughing and spluttering and sneezing and can't stop. Okay, great. All right, Baradun, uh, this is Dust of Invisibility. I'm 100% certain. Oh, brilliant. Ready? Oh, yeah. that's going to be useful. Let's get a little bit of... Yeah, I'm like 90% sure. I'm like 70, 70, 30. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 50-50. <coughs> <coughs> no. <coughs> no, 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 no. That is... I've, I've, I've had that before. That tastes familiar. That is the dust of sneezing and coughing. Oh, is that you right? Got, I, I, got wrong. I actually had no idea what that was. Yeah, no, I gathered that, actually, yeah. from the way you were reacting when you were really, that. really, really uncertain about it. That is going to be useful in the future, though, so let's hold on to that. <clears throat> I'm helping. Yeah, you are helping, Greg. So it turns out I'm really bad at identifying things. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, oh so, so, okay, so it's not what we think. It's I'm like a trap, I got that. trap powder. It okay. is a trap powder that is intended even with in, uh, identifying okay, so there, there to look like. I just saw a white powder and I took a stab. Um, <laughs> what, what else you got? <laughs> uh, okay, you know, Next, second chance. This, this is a fun game. Next yeah. thing, I picked one of those blue mushrooms from earlier, but we never really identified what... Oh, goddammit. No, 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 I picked... And, like, <laughs> let, me, let me identify that. Real quick. I remember when Bodger ate That's one. Boys. I remember when Bodger ate one, it looked like it was going to go bad, and luckily it didn't. And I just want to know what actually That's it does. Right. Um, I picked a few actually, but here is one of them. Well, I get my magnifying glass and I take a look. <laughs> you cast identify of a ritual. Each time he's doing this is like 10 minutes of casting. <laughs> so it's, it's, <laughs> a long, oh, just in a it's a long journey. You're all just it's really like... cramped together in the back right. of this cart. It's Greg, just, Greg and I are just in the back of the cart being like, and what about this? <laughs> and, what about this? <laughs> and what about this? Uh, it's just going to have something to do, honestly, to pass the time. Mm. Uh, you done with that one yet? Uh, not yet, just, just about. Hold on. I think it's a jar of beetles. Yeah, but how can you be sure? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna need roughly nine minutes and 45 seconds, so. God. Okay, uh, this one looks familiar. Do you know what that is? Don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, this one. <gasps> don't know. Uh, so what? what's special about this? Hmm. Don't know. 
that's a deck of cards. That's a deck of cards, Greg. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, you don't need me at all, apparently. Yeah, but what does it do, Greg? I, I don't know. Oh my God, Greg. The blue mushroom is uh, known as the blue uh, is a blue one, and for all intents and purposes, it is a magic mushroom. If you take it and uh, fail a Constitution saving throw, you go on a trip. If you fail by a certain amount, it's a bad trip. Okay. Uh, while you are tripping, it lasts for a certain number of minutes, and uh, and you can do certain things depending on whether it's a good trip, bad trip. That's the last cyber. Right. Um, I also just picked up a spell scroll. Uh, yes, this one you uh, you have a look at yourself. You can tell that this is very powerful magic, and it is um, mostly transmutation. You identify it, and you realize that it is a scroll of quick save. Hmm. <laughs> this is a creation of my own device. Uh, cool. Scroll as an action, a creature may read from this scroll. Not just you, but a, any creature, yeah. even Bodger could read from this scroll. The scroll then disintegrates yeah, right. into nothing, and a snapshot is taken of the worlds and everything in them as they stand at that exact moment. Mm -hmm. At any time within the next minute, the creature who read from the scroll can use an action to return the worlds and everything in them to that snapshot, wow. including hit points, <clears throat> spell powerful. slots, everything. Okay. The creature, the, once? Once? The creature who yeah. reads that scroll then suffers 10d10 force damage as the pressure of manipulating the multiverse in such a way. 10 d 10. 10 10 which is an average of 55 damage oh shit so, so you gotta be you, you gotta to it's not a willy-nilly thing it's like a we're what, in a what, real pinch we need to do this uh force damage is that is that um so okay. no, this is for, that? force is like use the force it's like oh, it's okay. like the so essence I, it's of magic blood, it's, so i wouldn't get my magic in my its rawest form is force damage so this, and does that take the damage off like when you cast it or when you've quick saved? No, when you use the quick save ability. So you can use the scroll, it disappears, and hap and the quick save happens. If you don't use it in the next minute, it's gone. But yeah. if you do use it in the next minute, you are manipulating the force of the entire universe to go back then to that moment. Which use it right before a fight, doesn't it? Right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right well, before like a fight, you're, you're like, I'm not sure we can do that. But like the damage, would the damage happen like when you use it, so if you're already hurt, it would take further damage off you, or would it if you're, reset you and then take the damage off? It resets you to the point of the quick save and then takes the damage. Great. And is there any multiversal magic where you could grab something and as you go back through time... You could potentially work on this scroll in like downtime and stuff to manipulate it. But as it, it stands, it's just it, back how it was with your memory. It is it's a, like a quick what you learned. Did you say 10d10? 10d10. And um, also, 55 force damage. So, so, so it sounds like oh, if we ever use this, it'll probably be me because I've got yeah, it on please. a lizard. <laughs> um, am, am, am I the only one with the, with the retained knowledge? Um, no, all of you would, all of you as the video oh, okay, game characters yeah. would rem remember the next yeah. minute and be like, oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. um, Interesting. And then something uh, next. Uh, any more info on that, bad boy? No. Um, next was a potion that I thought was a slow potion, but um, mm. yeah. The, you, as you as you, <laughs> as you move it, the potion seems okay. to almost stay where it is and requires almost resistance to move the the bottle because the the liquid isn't uh, moving as as well as it should. Mm. Uh, this is uh, again one of my own creation. It's oil of immovability. It allows you to cast the spell immovable object. So basically, mm. if you p put this oil on an object, that object it stops moving in space. It's like a, an immovable rod. <clears throat> oh, should have used it on that little thing chasing you. You're yeah. casting, yeah. You're casting it as if Not it's a level bad. four, ob uh, level four spell, immovable object. But how long does it last for? Um, how long yeah. does it last? Is it like oh, oh, yeah, how long does it last for? What amount of time yeah. in, in the mid air? Will it move? Yep. Like, uh, stays so in the air. Not, okay, so we could use it on like as rope and stuff, maybe. So you can, yeah, you could like if somebody's attacking with a sword and you can manage to get the oil on their sword, their sword is stuck. If you if you're being chased by something, you can put a piece of wood up against the door and then use it. on Does it only work on inanimate objects? Does it work on the inanimate objects? Do you want to just give that to me now? You could like get somebody stuck in a quick save. Yeah, the quick save. Cast immovable uh, object. I mean, I, I, I can still like just give it to you anytime to use it, or I can. Oh no, if I cast it, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, I can yeah. I'm just wondering, do you want to get? Uh, yeah. We're separate on the button. So might be like Sorry, was it was that spell, or was it oil, like oil that you have to? Oil. It's an it's oil that essentially cast. Uh, Casts a spell called immovable object. Yeah, you know what? You touch it's an probably it would be good use for you to have. Right, I've it got lasts a scroll. for lasts for Quick one. Save scroll. Quick lasts save for scroll. one hour. Uh, when you touch an object that weighs no more than ten pounds, cause it to become magically fixed in place. You and the creatures you designate when you cast the spell can move the object normally. Oh, great. Uh, and you can pass. Uh, you can set a password that, when spoken within five feet of the object, can suppress the spell for a minute. Right. It can hold up to because you're casting at level four. It can hold up to eight thousand um, pounds, okay. and it, it requires like a DC twenty, uh, DC thirty strength check to be able to actually move it. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> I stole some ca candelabra from um, Scabatha. <laughs> yeah. you, ident you identify that, realize it's not, it's mundane, but it's worth quite a bit of money. Well, that's why I stole them, to um, A deck of cards. What? So, you get the deck of cards out. Uh oh. Mm. Pick a card, pick a card, any card. Do you pick a card? Uh, Maybe don't pick a card. <laughs> do, do you offer them? Did you offer them? Uh, why not? Okay, if you, yeah, I take a card. The whole world explodes! Yeah. Just, just one? Yeah, just one, because he said pick a card, and I'm just like, I think he's going to show me a magic trick. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. This oh. is irresponsible. Pick a card. I don't know what you're <laughs> Pick a card. Now, did you ask me to identify, or are you good? Well, I was asking you to identify, yeah. Pick a card, all right. But then pick a card. I pick a card. Alan. Oh, oh fuck. Pick a card. Oh, but that <clears throat> attitude there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that, whenever it gets smugly silent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's oh. oh, smug little smile. Now show your card to the cameras. <laughs> Should we go to them? Don't let me see. We're, no, we're actually, definitely let me see because I definitely need to see it. Ace of clubs. Okay. Oh. Was what this your card? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know because I don't know what the cards do. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, hoping you'd identify them, but oh well. Well, I mean, this eight of clubs. Eight of yeah. clubs. <laughs> Well, this one's eight of clubs. And what does that, and what does that do, Greg? Um, oh, wait, what? You draw it out. Instead of the eight of clubs, in, on it is just drawn a picture of a very detailed orc. Hmm. Right. right. I think I think the cards might be magical because I took them from a hag. So let's oh, let's you took things from a hag. Oh, yeah, let's investigate. <laughs> I, took, I took this magic item yeah. from a hag and got you to yeah. just use them. Uh, you got to put it back in the um, in the in the deck. So there's a really detailed orc. Picture. Very detailed orc. You go to put it back in the deck, and it's just like it's it's not going back in, and then it flips out of your hand, drops to the base of the. Um, oh, was that just me being awkward, or is that there really something? No, there's something awkward. Stuff awkward. Hey, 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 have inspiration. Hey, 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 You've already hey, hey, got inspiration, it. Inspiration. Inspiration. Um, you get inspiration. You get inspiration. <laughs> you drop it on the ground, um, and daisy. as it hits the ground, the orc comes to life and comes off of the the card. Growing in size to a real full, full-blooded orc oh, who is now cramped Holy in the back shit, of the cat. Holy shit! We don't have visual you. effects budget to cover this. <laughs> 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 You've got orc masks. You did Balin's rap. Oh yeah, we did. Well, thank you for my magical card. Oh, actually, pick a card. I know magic. Ooh, ooh, I know magic. Ooh, ooh, I know yeah, magic. Okay, pick a card. Okay, any uh, card. This one. Hey! Oh! 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 Oh!
and the game's just over and it's like we've still got like seven hours left of the day <laughs> oh uh, no, but it's good rob we need more episodes <laughs> it's not happening um, <laughs> and the final the final thing i have i know that you guys have some things as well the final thing i have is a bottle of ink Bottle of ink. You actually have more than that still. I think. Uh, yeah, I, the, yeah. There was a extra dash, and I was like, I obviously meant to write. Nothing. <laughs> really quick, with the, going back to the cards, um, can you actually you can go through the cards and no, see you can, them? No, you can so just draw one. You don't know. It's you, just a random thing. Yeah. Okay. You draw them at random. And as soon as you draw them. Yeah. Let me right. just double check. I'm getting that right. Uh, the magic deck functions uh, only if cards are drawn at random. Okay. Cool. Okay. So don't, just don't go. You can use an. Look it's at that's cards. crazy <laughs> that I just happened to do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that worked out Takes an well. action to, uh, to to draw the card at random. Throw it to the ground at any point within thirty feet of you. An illusion like or Yu-Gi-Oh. illusion of the creature yeah, appears yeah, yeah, yeah. above the card. The illusory creature appears real of the appropriate size and behaves as if it was real creature, except it can do no harm. Oh. Whenever you're within one hundred and twenty feet of the illusion, you can use an action to move it magically and make it interact with things and blah blah blah. Cool. So that could be a good intimidation. Thing. It's yeah, very yeah. good for intimidation, distraction. Unless it's like a, just a cute bunny rabbit comes out or something. It'd be very this. very funny. To like, <laughs> Shit! Damn, damn it! Watch and another this. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, How many bunnies are in this deck? Yeah. Okay, the bottle of ink. Uh, the bottle of ink. You uh, <laughs> one orchid, thirty-one rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> What are the odds? Um, you you identify the bottle of ink as being able to cast illusory script. It is a spell that allows you to write a message, make it look like uh, a different message, um, but you and a creature you designate can read what it actually says. Hmm. Cool. And it's what a, was the it's other a, thing? It's a decent spell, but you, uh, rules is written. It costs ten gold every time you use it, and Jesus. I'm like, that's not worth that, and nobody no, ever uses no, it for that uh, reason. So, so we're not doing that. No, you've okay. just got a bottle of ink that can yeah. cast it for you. No. In case you needed to make messages. Uh, you also took one of the books from the shelf. That's what it was. I um, took yeah, you took two books. I took two uh, well, books you went to take two books. Uh, yeah. Realised one of them was cursed, so I took the other one. Did you take the Balin's Rap screenplay? I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah, one yeah. you I've identify as yeah. being a fantastic short film, but not magical. Nah, it's kind of magical. It's, it's kind of magical. I, I disagree. It has yeah. a certain kind of magic. It has a certain kind of magic to it. Um, I, I have a lot of odd things in my inventory. One of them is the Balin's Rap screenplay. Another I just have written a bit of Leithor. Not a bit of Leithor. <laughs> a, a, a bit of... Um, <laughs> ah, just a bit of gold some horn. Bit of gold horn yeah. I have a bit of gold horn. Yep. Huh. I must have just picked up... For a while, you haven't been doing it lately, but for a while you were taking uh, a from souvenir from everywhere you'd been because yeah. later on th- th- you're going to need a spell useful. called teleport. Yeah. Oh, that's as why part of teleport, oh. you need... Like if you've got an item from the place you want to go... Yeah. I thought you were like they're getting the same Private Ryan where whatever beach or battlefield is on, he puts <laughs> a little bit of sand bit. to his pack. No, I, so I've got a little bit of, uh, of gold horn. Yeah, something's starting to really smell from your... Uh, <laughs> oh, no, sorry, it's, it's in the bag of holding now. Yeah, so. I can still smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Which also smells like fish. So anyway, um, the book that I took. The book. Uh, you identify this. Uh, this is a very... It's a book. book. A very powerful book. It's called The Tome of Leadership and Influence. Uh, you recognize, as he tells you what it is, you recognize it immediately. The These tome books of what, sorry? are leadership Tome of Leadership and Influence. Yeah. They are legendary books. Uh, there's only like a few of them in existence. And by spending a few days reading this book, um, it can permanently increase your charisma by two. Uh-huh. But oh my god, that would be amazing for but me. But once it's done so, it loses its power for 100 years. Okay. How long is this campaign? This <laughs> one is currently not powered. Uh-huh. It will regain its power soon. You're not sure exactly how uh-huh. much. The identifier is not powerful enough to work out when it regains its power. But it will get it back. I'm going to check every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Checking your crypto every morning. How's it doing? Um, I, also, I also have the evil <laughs> book. You also have the evil book. Uh, do you wish to identify the evil book? Oh, God. Just, just you ask I, me I, 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 I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, tell exactly. Alan it's the evil book. <laughs> yeah. Could you, book and, uh, so that was one awesome book. Thanks, bro. Yeah. What about this? Here's thing? another one awesome, awesome book. book. Can sure, you make, I identify it. Can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? Me? <laughs> Why is he so good at identifying him? He's, he's got, got a magnifying spell for glass. It. He's got a spell well, for I got, it. I got a magnifying glass. He's got a spell called identify. Uh, 19 plus. Oh, okay. We're kind of working together, really. You feel like this book has very corrupting effects to it. And as we touched on when... Uh, Byron touched it at the end of the last session. I gave him a point of corruption, uh, which I did not explain. Mm. But you don't get a point of corruption because you managed to succeed against it. Nice. In fa- I- I- instead, you identify it and uh, realize that this is, again, another one of my creations called Scabatha's Book of Little Dangerous and Weird Magics. Great creation. <laughs> and there's one last thing to identify this cool little book. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't even remember where I got it from, actually. It's quite, quite cool, though. Oh, it 
does say on the cover, uh, Scabbeth is evil book of dark magic. Do not touch. Oh, so. don't, don't worry about that. Sometimes books just have that written on it. I've never seen yeah, no, that. Yeah, no. I sometimes just pick up books and they say do not touch on them and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I wouldn't do I wouldn't touch I, them. I think it's like I think it's like a publishing note. Okay. You know how sometimes like, you get the publisher house and the date and stuff and it just says do not touch on it, you know. Okay. I've touched lots of books that say do not touch. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. if you're sure if you're so sure. Yeah, it's fine. Let's just open it and see what's in here. Yeah, great. Oh, oh! Wow! Uh, this little black book, book contains the musings and scribblings of the hag Scabatha from the Hourglass Coven. Once per day, a creature can attempt to read the notebook. The creature must succeed on a DC 20 intelligence saving throw or take 4d8 psychic damage, suffer one point of corruption, and be unable to attempt to read the book again that day. What does corruption do? You don't know yet. Mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. thing of my own device that's not mm -hmm. in the game. Mm -hmm. A creature that fails this saving throw has disadvantage on all ability checks until they complete their next long rest. So it's dangerous to attempt it unless you've got a high enough intelligence that you can I make a DC 20. Mm. But if you do succeed at the saving throw, you can spend 10 minutes reading the, the notebook. At the end of that time, you can make an arcana check and consult the table for what effect comes. Such things as no effect, no effect and you suffer confusion. <laughs> the creature can recover one expended spell slot. Uh, the creature can cast their next spell without expending a spell slot. The creature can swap any spell they know or have prepared for any other spell that they can know. Oh, so not, Sorry, learn, not learning can... spells from it. Um, or if you get a 25 or more on your arcana check, you can attempt any spell or additional effect once before you complete your own rest. So you can attempt the spell wish, or you could attempt, Jesus. like like Bar okay. Byron did, you can attempt an x-ray spell that doesn't actually exist. You say you wish. Just... Yeah, it's the most powerful spell in the game. <coughs> what is the 25, did you say? Yeah, DC 25 arcana check. Which I wouldn't even be, be able, able to do, because yeah. my arcana... After, I, I after also succeeding the DC 20 intelligence saving throw to yeah, not... That would be... So it's, wish just like first place. So it's a very powerful thing, but there's some... <laughs> I wish. <laughs> there are limitations be. to wish, yeah. but uh, it can do. I a wish Leithel exploded. <laughs> there are things it can do and things it can't. Okay, so it'll probably explode some random Leithel that's just like a <laughs> hat, like a farmer. The last thing is just like <laughs> some poor little Leithel. boy, like I'm off to scope. <laughs> Have Leithel, a good day, Leithel. Leithel. Have a days. Yeah. That, that, that's me. Anyone, anyone Remem that anyone Remem else? Remember, Leithel, stay safe. You're the, so, you're the so last <laughs> remaining child in Starborn after the horrendous yeah. meteorite hit. <laughs> All our you're hopes and you're our future. <laughs> you're our future. Well, I will, Mom. Sure thing. Um, <laughs> I, I have something that I would like identified. So we're having so much fun identifying things. Are you getting in on the action? Yeah. It's gonna be a super uh, interesting episode, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But hey, it um, needs doing. We need, we well, need shopping episodes a occasionally. Third, a third level spell from the hand. Ah yes. Uh, do you want to identify his? Oh, is this the one that was written? Easy <laughs> on identifying getting, stuff, and I'm kind of getting bored. It's okay, I pretty exhausting. This is ten minutes every item, so it's is been like a couple of hours to solidly identify. Written on stuff. a leaf or something? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, oh, I, I, I can't remember. I just got it. In. I identify. Thank you. you and what is it? Uh, it's Alan? a that is a leaf. You just it's a leaf. And what is it? It's what was also deal. You're with carrying it. a leaf. <laughs> you picked up a leaf. <laughs> Greg knows uh, whether or not he divulges. I got, I got this one. Whether or not he divulges <laughs> this information, he uh, he knows that do, it I is a it is a third level illusion spell called Phantom Steed. Oh. For one hour, a large oh. quasi-real horse-like creature appears on the ground in an occupied space of your choice within range. You can decide the creature's appearance, but it's equipped with a saddle, bit, and bridle. Any horse of pocket. The, it's tar. It's a horse a, pocket. It's yeah. basically a horse pocket. It's tar. It's tar. Let's try it for a minute. So for one hour, uh, I thought you, with yeah, it. for the, for the duration, one hour. You you are right a creature now. you choose can ride the steed. It uses the statistics of a riding horse, but it has a speed of a hundred feet. That's great. Can more than one person get on it? Maybe depending yeah. on the size of them. One hour, so one, one hour horse pocket. So I'm just going to go there. I need a horse. <laughs> Boom! I've got a horse. <laughs> oh, <man. Fuck> this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly. When you think about it, it's going to be utility when it's like I'm chasing that. Yep. Yeah, horse. You have had a couple up. of things where it's been chases and yeah. you've been able to keep up. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. That'd be cool. I get. Anyone else? We're not going to green screen footage yeah, that. We're going to get a horse and you're going to ride that horse yes. as Baradun in an open field. I'm legitimately not sure if this is just an autocorrect typer, oh. but I have a tin devil. No, that's correct. Great. <laughs> I know. I, I, I choose a... not to identify that. <laughs> I agree. I, I, I pulled out a devil towards you. Um. What, so what What's the worst that can happen? What is the tin devil? It's a tin devil. I don't is know. Is it an, an, an animate object? I don't know. I've is got it, it in my own. It's not moving. It's not moving. It's a tin devil. I get it looks like a tiny tin glass. statue. Yeah, you're gonna do and it. I, and I, I mount another little magnifying glass. I can't remember where this came from. Uh, from the Lost Hag House. Oh great. This is a device from my own creation uh, called the Devil Totem. 
This small tin statuette is shaped like a devil and has a name inscribed in the bottom of it. As an action, you can read that name aloud three times, which summons that devil. It appears in an unoccupied space within 10 feet of you. The statuette then disappears. Roll a d6 to determine the type of devil that appears. The devil is forced to follow one verbal command that you give it. If the task takes more than 24 hours, you must recommand it the next day with a successful persuasion check. Otherwise, it disappears after it's finished its task. You can try and make it stick around for longer to do more tasks for you, but every time it, re it requires another persuasion check and the DC gets higher. Right. If you ever fail the DC to make it do a check, it'll attack you. Oh, shit. <laughs> so and you can be like, hey, devil. devil, break into that house for us, or kill that guy, or hey, go track yeah, down yeah. this book that I'm missing. Or no, he's a demon, isn't the devil, he? He's a yeah. demon, yes. Mm -hmm. So oh, if you devil. summon now the devil near the demon, there will be consequences. Devil, I imagine, quite a powerful being that... Like, Let's find out! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Oh, man. I unleash the, the, a devil that kills us all. That is a cute bird. <laughs> Reference your notes, jump jumps. Ah! Swarm up birds, we're just gonna flame through. Ah! Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to support us making even more content, you can go and check out our Patreon page. There's heaps of bloopers and other exclusive content on there and you get the joy of supporting us and giving all this free content to you. Just more content and content and 